Can we stop? Dude. Stop with the eyelashes. <laughs> the eyelashes. The, and the I, eyebrows, the over-tweezing of the brows. Oh. It's a big mistake, ladies. It's a yeah. big mistake that you will regret. Yeah. We've seen the over-tweezing. We've seen people get carried away with it. And then you get into the penciling. Well, yeah, you've over-tweezed. You over-tweeze and get stuck in the penciling game. It's Measure an unwinnable twice, game. Measure twice, cut once, ladies. Agreed. Remember that rule. And it, yeah, it's it's it never works to try to go to, to look for those perfect uh, brows. Dude, honestly, I can, I can, I'm, I'm being totally serious. I don't think I've ever looked at a woman and gone, those eyelashes. <laughs> I know, dude. They're amazing. They, right? I, they are such, they're a throwaway. Mm-hmm. They're an absolute throwaway. You could burn them off for all I care. No, it's another thing or that women do them. to each other. Exactly. Right? The shoes, the eyebrows, yeah. a lot of that shit. Blame each other. Dude, bl- yes. Yeah. Be mad at yourselves for you all just wanting to be into your shoes. Guys, do not give a yeah. shit. Don't blame us. You got a vagine, don't you? Okay, we're good. <laughs> right. As long as you are mildly attractive, and even if you're not, you'll get a guy, you'll get somebody. Yeah, you don't your need the shoes, eyelashes. We're not looking at your eye- eyelashes. I've never taken stock of an eyelash. I mean, a brow. If you've got an out of control brow, sure, sure, I, yeah, it, it's Just hard don't to not. Notice. But don't. But when you get into the over tweezing, the other one that I've noticed too is is when when you see someone and they've got their brow and it looks okay, and then they've just got fucking dead lines right here where it's like, oh, it's huge now. Brow, <laughs> brow uh, construction. maintenance, construction, whatever you want to call it, is enormous now. I remember in Birmingham when I worked there for several years, going up and down with these salons and seeing chicks sitting in there getting their brows done, like. It's a big thing, man. Yeah, a lot yeah. of money is being spent on the brows. Doesn't um, have to be. Yeah, it's it's so dumb. It's a it's a game, and we've talked about it on this very show many times. It's a game that men have successfully. We've dodged that, we, but I, I caution you, gentlemen. We're wading into dangerous waters, we, dude. We, it, we're not even wading anymore. We we are in we are in shark infested waters. Pocket squares. Are you kidding me? Socks, the socks, the socks, the gingham, the socks, gentlemen. The socks to me is is yes. that is why are you doing it? Why and and don't underestimate the 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 prince beards. Yeah, the facial hair. Yeah, that, the facial that tight little prince beard. It's it's this is not a, a comfortable road that we're going down, gentlemen. And we need to put a stop to this now. I I fear that we've gone over the edge and there's no coming back from it. There are Manny Petties. There are some uh, there are some rogue um, I don't want to call them vandals out there, but there are some guys trying to buck that trend. I, I saw one guy, um, a terrible story. Uh, obviously, the, the funerals oh down in in Orlando for when the gay nightclub shooting. Yeah, and one of the guys that was murdered, he was. Um, I, I was watching video and, and the casket was being uh, dealt with and carried out, and he was one of the pallbearers. This son of a bitch was out there in shorts and a t shirt, and I was like. Amen, gentlemen. Why the need to go to a funeral and dress to the nines? It's and hot what? as shit there. It is, and and this son of a bitch didn't. He didn't care. He didn't, he's like, no, this is my boy, and he's surrounded by suits. He must have felt like an ass. Obviously, he didn't give a shit. T-shirt and shorts, and he's Paul bearing. And I was <laughs> like, standing ovation for this him. This is what Ramon would want. <laughs> yes, I mean, it felt it warmed my heart because, you know, that's. That's how he chose to remember his friend. He wasn't going to go with the trend. Oh, I, oh, I get it. I have to wear black socks and my black pants and my yeah. black suit and, and do all that I just feel like stuff. there's too many dudes trying to get an angle on shit. You know, like, they're, oh, you know, okay, most guys are like this, but I'm going to take it one step further. Yeah. That all goes back to my theory about hibernation. I, I really believe we were meant to hibernate. <laughs> I mean, you get to the you dead of humans. Yes, you get to the dead of winter and. God, you're tired. It's just like it the just, sun goes down oh, at four or it's whatever. Awful, right? I mean, we yeah. were meant to just hunker down and hibernate. But you know what happened? <laughs> Thousands of years ago, some asshole got up and started gathering shit. <laughs> started gathering shit, and then everybody woke up and went, "Damn, Steve has a whole say hut Steve. full That's of weird. shit." How yeah. did he do that? And Steve was like, oh, yeah. I'm just well, got up a little early, whatever." Yep. And then they all bird. started getting up early, and here we are, non-hibernators. Yeah. It's a it's a great. Could we point. as a society all of a sudden just start hibernating? No, because <laughs> no, no, we can't turn we it back. Can't. That's the problem. The toothpaste is out of the tube. Okay. And, and the problem is, there's always one fucking Steve out there yep. that's not that's gonna go rogue. Fuck and, you, Steve. And he fucks it up. Dude, for the it's rest in of everything us. you Believe do. Believe me, fuck Steve. Was, were we were we struggling as a as a gender to get women we for weren't. thousands nope. of years? I mean, we've gone through. 
countless generations, and none of we've all made it work somehow. And now, all of a sudden, now in in the two thousands, we're we're deciding to up our game because you have to follow suit. You can't be white sock guy now exactly. at a party. Yeah, you see what happens. You end up like Big E. We can't be like that shit. Yeah. So I, so you're you're essentially by your. By your selfish decision, sir, s- to get sir, an angle, to get one up on yeah. us, and don't, don't, don't kid yourself. You're you're trying to impress some broad, or you're trying to one up a guy, because um, you can't just have some solid game out there and run and, right. and talk to personality's not enough. Yeah, no, you need you need help from Gingham and a pocket square, Fucking and your, Steve. your your fancy shaver and your dumb socks, and now you're roping all of us in there. But your selfish oh, look move, at Steve. Well, look at him. He's he cares. He cares Look at more. his hair. It's so fucking cool. Oh and, he, and he smells so good. Oh my God. He just cares. More. He's you, going above Steve. and beyond. And now the rest of us are in the back of the class. Just like, oh, Fuck. Shit. Okay, I guess I have to buy Axe body spray now. Oh, $50 socks. Really great. Uh. Couldn't just stick with the fucking 12 pack for $12. No, we got to go buy $50 a pair of socks. Thanks, Steve. I'm already up all winter. And now this? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for listening, and be sure to check out DetroitCast.com for more.